Hey friends, it's Jan from So Often. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pillow form. So let's get started. All supplies are listed in the description below this video. The supplies you'll need to make a pillow form are a lightweight fabric, thread to match your fabric, polyester or polyfill, something to measure your fabric with, either a yardstick or a ruler, or something like this OmniGrip ruler a fabric marker, pins, and scissors to cut your fabric and threads. The first step to how to make a pillow form is to choose your fabric. You want to use something that is light in color and somewhat lightweight. I'm using a poly cotton lining for my pillow form. Next, you're going to cut out your fabric. The way to figure how big to make your pillow form is to know what size form you want to end up with and then add a half inch for each of the seam allowances. My finished pillow form size will be 18 inches by 18 inches. So I cut my lining fabric at 19 inches by 19 inches. So I added a half inch seam allowance on all four sides. Next, you're going to want to mark where to start and stop your stitching so that you can leave an opening in the middle to turn your pillow form right side out. So I'm going to make a mark. I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it. You want your mark to be five or six inches and towards the middle of the bottom edge. Next, you're going to pin your two layers together, starting at the first mark where you're going to start sewing and then pin all the way around the pillow cover, ending at your second mark. Next, we're ready to sew our two fabrics together. We're going to start at our first mark along the bottom edge of the pillow form fabric. We're going to sew all the way around until we get to the second mark using a half inch seam allowance, making sure to back stitch at this beginning and ending points. backstitch at the beginning and the ending of our seam is that these places get a lot of stress from turning the pillow form right side out and then adding the polyfill. After we've sewn our two fabric layers together, we're going to clip the corners, making sure not to cut the seam that you've just sewn. Clipping the corners helps reduce the bulk so there's not so much fabric in the corner. Next, we're going to turn our pillow form right side out. Making sure to push the corners in. to push the corners out even further, you can use a blunt object like a chopstick or this sewing tool I have that I love called that purple thing. It has a perfect head to push the corners out. You don't want to use anything sharp like scissors because you could cut right through your fabric. Once we have our pillow form turned right side out, we're going to start stuffing it with the polyfill. What I like to do is kind of fluff up the polyfill and then once I put it in the pillow form cover, I like to push it clear up into the corners, really making sure the corners have a lot of the polyfill in them. And then just continue filling the pillow form cover until you feel like it's full enough. There's no set measurement of how much polyfill to put in the pillow form. It's more how the pillow form feels to you. You'll know when it's just right, not too full or not full enough, but it's probably going to take more polyfill than you think.
Once you get your pillow form to the desired fullness, you can smooth out the polyfill. Next, we're going to pin our opening closed. I'm going to stuff the polyfill down a little bit. We'll flip this back up after we sew the pillow form closed. So you're just going to pin the opening closed, turning under about a half inch, which is your seam allowance. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew it closed. I'm going to put our needle down back stitch first and continue sewing the opening close. And then we'll back stitch at the end of our seam. Now that we've sewn our opening closed, we need to make the polyfill fill this area again. So to do that, I just push the polyfill around until it's nice and smooth and fills up that area. Now your pillow form is done and you can insert it into your pillow cover. Happy sewing!